Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from War Crew Paintball and War Sports Chicagoland here with another episode of the Weekend Loadout. Uh, if you don't know what this show is, I take one of my paintball markers and I show you a setup for a weekend to play. Um, so I just did the MG100 with the, the big ass barrel on it. Um, yes, I'm filming this directly after. I'm trying to get ahead on some videos so that way it's like, oh man, all I have to do is upload it and I'm not like, oh fuck, I didn't record one and it's, you know, late and I have to go to work in the morning, but... Um, this is kind of like the opposite, I guess, of the, the loadouts that I'm usually running with the, the box mag and, you know, like, just carrying a lot of paint. This is the MG100 Pocket Sniper, I guess. Um, when this gun was announced, um, and I saw, like, the form size of it, I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. If I play a scenario game and I'm wearing, like, my, my vest or... Uh, if I'm just wearing like my harness, uh, I can have this kind of strapped away like in a pocket or whatever and what I can do is um, Just pull this out. It's got a mag full of first strike rounds And I might have you know a tube or two on me with first strike rounds on me and I can just Take it out push it to fire p p p kill whoever is way far away Go with my my regular marker again throw this back in my pocket and just keep going um the problem is this is not really a barrel. This is uh, a barrel cap. Let me pull this out real quick. So this is an autococker threaded barrel cap for the old BT SA17 pistol. Uh, if you don't know what that pistol was, it was kind of a it was kind of BT stab at like, hey, Timman made a really awesome pistol. First Strike and uh, Gorilla Air made a really cool pistol so let's try to do that too didn't really work out that well like they were okay pistols they were first strike ready like if you slid the tube magazine that's the thing they fed with like the 10 round tube magazines like not like the the jter2 pistol or whatever but like it was it's kind of like what comes with the sniper is that only it slid on directly onto the gun because they had a picatinny rail it was okay it fed pretty reliably like it was really fun to go out with one of those and like some co2s or like you could get what was a sniper kit for it or an air upgrade kit for it and run a bottom line on it that was really fun to run with like a little 13 cubic inch or like even a regular tank i know i used it a few times like that just because uh and then like you could put a regular hopper on it but it was like a side mount thing it was a whole thing but when this came out i was like oh this is literally perfect for that though um so i've got the not a kit on here so that way I should put it in a holster. I've got a six round mag that would probably just feed first strikes if I was going to a scenario again that allowed first strikes and then this barrel cap wouldn't be a good barrel. I haven't tested it out yet but as far as I can tell it would get maybe two feet and drop. <laughs> just uh, so barrel length does kind of matter. Don't let any woman tell you different. Uh, and then I have a 13 cubic inch tank on here. Now what I would probably do is not run the 13 cubic inch tank I'd still have the barrel cap in there, but what I would do is, like, whatever marker I'm shooting, if I'm shooting my autocock or whatever, and they're like, hey, there's people way out there, we need somebody with first strikes. I would literally pull this out of my pocket, the mag would probably be in another pocket, pull them out, load it up, take the cap off, put on whatever barrel I'm shooting on my autococker, take my tank off my autococker, screw it onto this, and then I've got basically just a, a sniper rifle in two seconds. Whereas, like, the guys with the SAR are still trying to get up there because their gun's so fucking heavy. Uh, and they are really heavy guns, but they're really cool. I really like the SARs. I wish I had one, but... Eh. But, yeah, this is kind of the the pocket sniper rifle um, for scenario games. And that's exactly why I wanted this gun. So even if I'm just running with this, I could have a box mag, drop the box mag, take out my six-round mag, put it in there and I'm shooting first strikes. That's exactly why I wanted this gun. That's why I bought the box mag. That's why, you know, like I got all of that stuff ready because I really wanted a scenario marker that I could shoot round ball with, shoot first strikes with, and all it would be is a mag swap. Whereas, um, like with the die dam, I mean, it, it's literally the same thing if you run that box mag, but where are you gonna put that box mag? The MCS box mag is a little bit smaller. It's got some molly things on it, so you could probably hook it to your belt. Whereas the big ass box mag from Die, you really can't do that. You kind of got to set it down and then, you know, load up. And, and like we've seen Wolf be awesome and do it, what the fuck ever. But this is something that like any player can afford because Die Dams are fucking expensive. This is something that any player can afford. The the MG100 came in at the perfect price point. 
for entry level mag fed marker, entry level first strike marker, entry level marker, because you can still put a hopper on it. I think it's amazing. I remember when I first used it out at Power Paintball, the kid was like, oh, it looks really cool. How much is it? And I told his dad how much it was, and he goes, that's going to be a Christmas present. Like, holy shit. Like, that's super cheap for something that looks that cool. So, yeah, that is the Pocket Sniper MG100. I'm super excited to use this somewhere. I'm going to try using it like this uh, with the little 13 cubic inch tank on it and just kind of see what happens. Um, I'll report back on that, I guess. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.